One of the nice things about a stem and leaf plot is that you can recapture the data. So had this just been a distribution table and I had a stem of 10, that would be kind of like having a class of 10 to 19 with two items in it. But you wouldn't know what those two ages were if it was number of ages, if it listed you know, the ages. So when I look at this, I can go ahead and recapture the data. So what I do is I pair the stem up with the leaf. So I would have 16 as my first data entry. And then keep pairing that stem up with as many leaves as are listed until I've run out of leaves. Now I'll go to the next stem and pair it with all of the leaves that are listed until I'm done. So what ends up happening here is if you look at the items on the right in green, this data could be a starting point to make the stem and leaf plot on the left if we cut everything after the first digit, so it between the ones and the tens. Or I could have, as I did here, start with the stem and leaf on the left and recreate the data set. So now I'd like you to do that for the list below. So go ahead and fill in the following stems, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Notice I listed every consecutive number and they're in order because that's required. And let me give you the following leaves, 4, 5, 3, 3 for the first one, nothing for 24, 5, 0, 1 for the third, and 8 for the last. Notice that hopefully they're, whoops, wrong pen. Notice hopefully that they're, you know, lining up as I'm drawing them, but you know, as best I can without using a ruler. Um, I just made this particular table up, but let me have you go ahead and pause and try to recreate the data. I get that it's so easy to just be like, ah, let's just hit play and see if we can figure it out. But there's kind of a little twist or trick or game to this one that you're not going to figure something out until you go to do it yourself. So pause, fill out all the data, and then hit play. Okay, so did you get kind of stuck and weren't sure what to do when you saw the second three in the first row? What did you do when you got to the second row and there was no leaves? Well, let's go ahead and recreate the data. So as I work on this, I'm pairing the 23 with the four, then the five, then the three, and then the other three. So your data should be, you know, 234, 235, 233, 233 again. 255 is next, 250, 251, and 268. So the question kind of came up is first, how did you handle the number that repeated, that three? Well, hopefully you included it in the data, right? What happens is if somebody was asked to take this table on the right and recreate it, they would have chopped the first 233 and then they would have chopped the second 233. So they would have had a three to list as a leaf and another three to list as a leaf. And the other question was, what did you do when it came to the 24 that was blank? And notice, you should not have listed, you know, 240 or, you know, just 24 or whatever the case is. Because what happened was there was a gap. Nothing happened in the 240 range of this data set.